Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the Gili Bando in the Knot version. There are two versions available, the Knot or the Ring, so you can click through to find the other one to learn how to make that. So you're going to print your paper patterns out and the great thing about this pattern is that the sizes are layered so you can isolate the size that you want. Just make sure that when you are printing, you're printing at 100% and double check that the test square measurements match before you cut it out in your desired size. Now where there are half hearts, you want to match the letters together and tape or glue it down before you cut it out. And also there are notes where you need to cut the pattern depending on the style. So today we're doing the knot version, so I'm going to be cutting it right there for my size. You'll end up with two pattern pieces like this. For this top, you're going to need some non-woven elastic. You're also going to need some regiline or plastic boning of course swim fabric and the apparatus of cutting of your choice. When you're done, you're going to end up with pieces like this, two for the front and four for the back. We're going to start by joining the front pieces together matching the center notches and we are going to stitch on the outer edges leaving the side seams open. Now you can use a overlock machine or a zigzag machine, whatever you prefer and whatever you have. Just take your time and go with it. I didn't want the knot on the center to be too bulky, so I'm just going to add elastic to only the outer edges. And when you're done doing that, you can turn it to the right side out and start tying that knot. I like to find like the center of it and take my time and really like double check to make sure it's proper in the center before I move on to the back pieces. Now the back pieces are prepared identical to the front, so we're just going to stitch the top and bottom edges leaving the center back and the side seam open. You'll notice that the back and the front pieces don't match exactly on the side seam and this is because I've sort of created like a dart so that we can shape and mold the roof instead of it just being smooshed down. So to do this, you're going to just use a straight stitch in the biggest stitch on your machine and slowly bring the the garment together, gathering it, concentrating on the center bit. Now you don't have to do a gathering stitch, you can do an inverted box pleat, a knife pleat, whatever that suits your design. But I just thought for this one, the gathers look the cutest. And when you're ready, you can loop it through the back strap and then match all the seams together before stitching it down. Now you're stitching through multiple layers, so you want to make sure that you get all the layers and if nothing's left out. And don't forget to add the plastic boning. I have a very detailed guide in the Bali top video about how to prepare the boning and some tips over there. So you can go ahead and watch that if you need additional resources. But if you're done with that, you have to just turn the top right sides out and you can do a straight stitch or a hand stitch to close the tie backs and you will be done. I think it's a super cute bikini. I love the little gathers on the side. And if you want to know how to make the other version available, you can click here. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.